Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kenny, aka Meet the Ghost, and today I'll be playing Divinity 2 Original Sins from the uh, beginning of the game. Um, I'm just gonna go over the type of character I usually like to play. It's a. Uh, um, well, this character actually is Fane. He actually has a background story, which I kind of like. Um, it, the original characters all have background stories, and it really does affect the storyline. Um, you can play created characters completely, um, where you can either be, you know, a dwarf, a lizard, a human, an elf, or you can be those forms undead. But the uh, storyline for me, those are kind of weak. Um, so, for my character Fane, I usually like to, um, well, actually for playing the game period, I usually like to, um, use the lone wolf so only up, up to a maximum of two characters. Um, I usually have one melee and one uh, magic type character and um, I know most people probably use this character as uh, magic and he's really good at it but um, I'm gonna make an undead knight. <laughs> so we're gonna go spec all into strength and we're gonna start with polymorph and uh, give us some necromancer abilities we're gonna have that um, yeah, raise uh, the bloated corpse, which will turn any enemy into a um, like a summon, like a weaker summon. But it's good for um, as a sacrifice ability. It does AOE. Um, undead, they take damage from healing, so poisons are good for them. So you, you don't start the game with that awesome gear. So, still a bit groggy. Up. Um, Easy now. You're captured by these. Uh, Religious zealots, <laughs> and um, they they don't like people who use uh, well magic is called source in this game. Well now, aren't you a curious sight? <laughs> Where'd you get it? There can't be many curios like that in the world. Is that a fact? And your I've never heard I'm a little such silken by the dialogue with the skull. <laughs> Um, I, I will be adding um, some of the gift bag cheats into the game, so like uh, extra speed and pet pet play um, pet pal, so that allows me to uh, speak to people. So I'm gonna go through the tutorial area, take a couple of buckets, take well, I'm gonna search the things, and oh, oh this sheep is. I don't, I don't like this sheep, so I'm gonna kill it, but I'm gonna take its, um, its meat. Um, because later on, once you get to uh, another part of the game, um, to get a hidden I, um, armor set, you're gonna need it. Uh, a source infused uh, mutton. So here, you can go through this in multiple different ways. Um, honestly, I, I didn't even have to, to sneak a TikTok to this dude, I'm just. Doing it for fun. <laughs> yeah, you can kill him in his sleep. That guy behind there, he's asked you to help him out, but he's a traitor. <laughs> he's gonna come out there and to blow you up and whatnot. But I easily could have picked that door because I'm, I'm, I'm an undead. Um, I can use my, my finger to uh, as like a um as a as a lock pick. And I have like an unlimited amount. <laughs> so I, I like to give my undead um, thievery ability. And I, I don't give him persuasion, I, I usually leave that to the uh, secondary character. And um, in this playthrough, I'm going to use um, the Red Prince as my secondary character because lizards have a bonus to persuasion. And um, he also has a, a, a racial ability to use uh, a fire breath attack. I think he's gonna be my magic summoner. <laughs> so yeah, see, I, I killed um, one of the characters and I turned him into a, into a bloated corpse and used them as to take out the other um, enemies in the area. Well, they're actually not, but I don't like them, so <laughs> I'm just gonna kill them anyway. Um, Fane in the beginning of the game has a, a mask of um, where he can change his um, race ability to anything. Um, the elf, they can eat body pieces and gain abilities or learn history of the people. Why aren't you saying? That's enough now. 
Who's Never the Red Prince? Well, well, the lizard and looks at all of a sudden. He grips you firmly you know, by the chest. He is chair, royal. With the and he does see everybody beneath teeth. him. Um, There's some discomfort now. I'm just going to play around with him. You will answer me three questions. The first one is this: Can you cook? Mm. And of course, a cook who can't taste is about as useful as a dog in a chess game. On to the second question. Can you knit, weave, in short, uh, tailor? I'm trying to concentrate. They don't care about us. We're like cattle to them. <laughs> yes, I can tell from your vagabond chic, a bag is as good as a shirt kind of style. I shouldn't be getting my hopes up. He's looking for a sleeve. <laughs> On then to my final query. Have you the ability to administer the upkeep of one's personal appearance? The delicate art of cosmetics is what I'm after. The very basics then. So, three questions asked, three questions... As per your own testimony, you can groom, but you have the taste buds of a dung beetle and the fashion sense of a monkey in a clown suit. That won't do at all, see? <laughs> I'm sad to say I must deny you the opportunity to be my slave. Ever so sorry. Aww. <laughs> you could answer all I know, you know, I know, awesomely but and you just don't have be praised, what it takes. But A good no. slave's made of sterner stuff, I'm afraid. Still, hone your skills, and one day you may just qualify for a position in a lesser household than mine. You keep dreaming, you hear? <laughs> yeah, so this lady's gonna attack everybody. Gonna summon a giant um, sea creature. Get out of here. Here is I'm actually gonna take the key from this dead body and I'm gonna steal the death bog barrel. There we go, take one of these, go for the here. Oh, I can't take two, I'm too weak. Uh, come on. I guess I'll leave them behind. So the death bog will instantly kill any living thing. Um which is broken, but there's so few in the game. Um and there's a part where, um, when you get to Fort Joy, um, you can launch it at the Magisters and, you know, you can get a really good weapon early on in the game, uh, Dallas's Hammer. And then, steal some items up here. I don't want to pick up the water barrel and bring it up here to put out the fire. Because I don't want to drop my death log. <laughs> I'm taking these uh, buckets that you see around. Um, not all of them, but the bucket helmets because um, I'm going to use them to raise some plants later on. Um, so you have a chance to get to double the seeds of whatever you plant. Um, there's a pretty um, expensive plant you can grow called Drudene, which you can find early on in the game. Or you can get um, like Whisper Wood and put them into like uh, your potion bottles to make to create potions, but honestly for the undead you want to create poisons, not potions, so they can heal yourself with poison. Or um, because I'm a necromancer even with um, every hit I do or bleed damage, I get more life back. 
Once we got off the tutorial part of the game, now we're actually in the free roam. <laughs> just kill one of those, turn it into a, a falling creature, then have it sacrifice itself for actually for healing damage. <laughs> So after this part, I'm going to get um, the Red Prince, our traveling buddy. There he you is. You spot a strange lizard gazing over the water with a steady, malcontent st Yes, you recognize him from the ship. It would seem you're not the only one who survived the tentacles of the deep. The lizard turns about with Everybody a graceful Everybody has uh, a interesting points in the game that really affect the storyline down the road. You yes, um, I imagine you do. You're made of sterner stuff than I first gave you. A character you later on that has uh, are, deep ties. In fact, there's a few really big characters you that have, have deep gratitude. ties with the Red Prince. Hand over heart, he um, salutes you with a bob of the head. The dwarf, nod, it's the dwarf queen that has a big storyline with him, and uh, Lohar, the uh, underground um, dwarf on that. Uh, yes, the I'm secretary sure you will. Now, if there's nothing further. Fane has uh, ties with the uh, mercenaries called the Lone me, Wolves. What do you see when you cast Los is cursed with uh, a creature that actually Touché. has a tie to um, the Red Prince. Of... As for my son, I see continents dotted with mighty cities and shimmering along the soft cur Yes, but these were suddenly... has uh, ties with the uh, stand there gawking like an elf. Very <laughs> I am, of course. There's a brief that said the grandeur that is my truly fine. On one for reasons I'll know. I've reason to believe one of them may be present on Jolly Good. Okay, we gotta help him find a dreamer. <laughs> the undead. Like your good self, you come now. Did you really think a handful of linen tap? But don't worry. I have studied the art so now that that's settled, for even if you are as versed in the art of eloquence as I am, that our swords will be doing a lot of the talking from here Do on out. Is is it undead? He's um as a born fighter, He's an eternal that was actually uh, a, blade myself. a race well that was there embedded before, in my nature as deeply um, as the instincts the other races. And drink and very well. In fact, all the other races, Onwards like there, uh, the, Red Prince the lizards, is. Gives you... Now, um, as you're away, you'll be traveling with a prince. As your luck, made an image of, there of are what created form. them. And those that they're uh, created in, the images that they're created in, are on the same level of fame. But he's not the one who created the undead. He was a scholar, and um, the gods in this game were like lords that he uh, he served. He actually served the uh, source king. Ah, oh, hello, small furry creature. How do you? I've spotted oh. something. So that cat that comes along with this. Um, if you keep it alive effort, and one is to escape the from the fort, board. it'll become a summon. Um, but terrain areas like poison can kill the cat, and so can fire. So you want to make sure the cat, um, or even getting too close to uh, magisters, then make sure to kill the cat. So you might want to try to keep him alive. <laughs> I've spotted something. But again, I'm just so I'm not the lizard has a racial ability labor, to uh, dig up like what he's doing right now. So you don't need a shovel. Um, this has a bow and um, I think it's a armor set, and it was a lot better than the um, earlier weapons that you would get. But um, I'm gonna give him wands, and I'm gonna give the other guy uh, weapons. That's in that shirt that you're wearing. Um, so these uh, wands, um, they don't actually take MP, but they do um, like range, elemental damage, and if you combine two different types of wands, um, you could come out with um, 
a, uh, a combo attack. Like, let's say if you have uh, a poison is. one and a fire one, the poison will poison a creature, but the fire will ignite the poison, which will cause an explosion. Um, hang on, I gotta remember how to... <laughs> I haven't played this game in so long. I gotta read, read the... Um, we teach myself the ability to go. Let's see. One of these should be attack. Oh, that's not it. I don't want to unsheat the weapon when it. Yeah. Hmm. My undead could go through pretty easily, but if I leave the poison there, the cat will stand in the poison while I go up above, and he'll slowly kill himself. So I'm gonna get rid of the poison. Right, there we go. That's the attack button. All right. So let's target the poison. Launch an attack because it's fire. And just blow it up. Yeah, I think that's good. I uh, could blow it up, but then I think that's just going to spread more. So we're trying not to burn the cat or poison the cat. Okay. Yeah, the gear in the beginning is very, very junk. So there's a couple things up here. Um, one, we can tuck this child here, you and they give us a scroll. Whimpering sound from behind a basket. The child quiets and seems comforted. The child nods and reaches up to you. As Thanks. You can have this. She nestles back into. Okay. I could steal a scroll from them, but I don't want to. I want to um, get out of the range. Split my my team. I'm gonna have the prince talk to uh, the lady to distract her. I don't want her to see because uh, I'm gonna Where steal from she? them. <laughs> you go with okay, so I'm gonna just take a plant, or maybe a couple of plants, and what I want is the druidity. Right there. Okay. And steal a bucket. Okay, so we can turn around and. There we go. And now you put it down, it'll grow. Wait, 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 can I equip? Okay, so we're back to it, and now we can harvest it, and we can pick up our bucket, and we can do it again later on. Okay, so there's some turtles down this area. They're cursed, um, by the source. They ate something infected, so they themselves can do it. So let's put them out of their misery. Um, the turtle has a poison, uh, turtle claw. And you want to put the poison before you put the fire. Just if you put fire first, it, it won't do that explosion combo. So you can attack the... If you don't have the ability to pick a lock, you can always break whatever it is. So I know I could use my bony finger to just go there and pick it, but just showing that, you know, you can just break the item and just steal whatever's in it. <laughs> So we have my, my red prince, I'm sorry, you know if it's a summoner. Okay, so up here is um, an expansion of the game where they have uh, an elf getting attacked that has um, a type of gear that, that powers up um, when you get all, all the pieces. She has the pants and the boots right now. I could befriend her, but... And you'll have to fight her um, on the next island anyway. So I'm just gonna take all the pieces from the uh, magisters and sell instead. I'll just kill everyone. Well, I'll have my minions kill everyone <laughs> while I stand comfortably out of the fight. <laughs> okay, there, there, bring it up and then blow it up. <laughs> Not all dead, so we'll just summon another creature in the blood. 
I can create a. There we go. Make another bomb. So instead of um, letting the cre um, your summon creature, like the, that little imp that you've seen, um, have to cycle through to use its magic ability again, I have to summon another one in its element, and it'll. As soon as this next turn comes up, it'll erase the other one, but it'll create a new one. That new one will have the uh, magic ability to use right away. Uh, that's a bit of a cheat. <laughs> So, you want to get the, um, at least two of those sleeping bags are, are really good, so, in case if you have to split your team, you know, if you use the, the sleeping bag, you can completely heal and have the rest ability, um, for a few minutes, or a few seconds. So instead of talking to the magician, we're just going to sneak around the castle. Okay, we got... I could have avoided them or just paid them off, but, eh... There is a way to, to get a spark card from a guy named Zane, where I could have just won the, the, the game that they're trying to rip you off with and rob you. But I'll just make an example out of them. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for fire to go out, just take a little quick rest, and I can harvest all their items. They're not good people anyway, they belong to a group of thieves. So this is the ring of the one. Um, it's just the underground fight area where uh, there's these people that believe that um, there's going to be a new a new champion coming forth that that'll save everyone and um, it'll be the one that will win all of these underground tournaments. I like playing in them just because, you know, it's, it's a fun, like, it's a quick fun fight and then you get to get, like, better gear or sometimes magic abilities, like scrolls. Uh, I could have stayed in there and, um, let that one guy live for a while and gone around and, and opened the, uh, the sarcophagi that's, hang that's around in the area. You know, and, and loot them, but I uh, didn't want them. You know, I feel like taking up the time. <laughs> they're, they're, they're most of the time they're not worth it in here because it's it's too early in the game. some gear for us we can choose. You can choose the most expensive if you want. Um, I'm just trying to pair it with what I, I, my characters actually use. Okay, so the Fort Joy Mirror here, it's, um, I'm gonna change the specs of um, the Red Prince. Um, I, I don't like um, how the game gives him um, his uh, abilities. We're going to spec him into in intelligence, and um, in the beginning we're going to spec him into uh, summoning. We're going to try and max it out at 10 um, as fast as we can, so we're going to give him that lone wolf ability. The lone wolf gives you a double... Um, the uh, power up points. So instead of getting a uh, plus one to your summoning, you get a plus two. So yeah, let's get rid of that first one. Go down for the lone wolf. And since he's um, got a racial perk to persuasion, we're gonna make him the talker. <laughs> I mean, he's also got Scholar and uh, Noble, so it helps out a lot. Mm. 
it. Let's save his his thing. And once this creature gets up to level ten, um, it'll be huge. <laughs> and once he gets uh, past a certain level, I think it's five. The shopkeep will start selling upgraded versions of spells. So instead of just summoning the creature, you can give the creature abilities. Like uh, the ability to use uh, range attacks aside from the one magic attack it comes with. Um, the creature's ability will change depending on the terrain you give it. So if you put it in water, it will give you a healing ability. Um, if you summon in fire, it will get the fireball. If you summon in oil, it will um, you know, get an uh, oil attack or earth attack. And so on and so forth. You can also combine some of the spell books to create different um, unique spells. Like, um, let's say if you combine a water elemental book and a um, a necromancer book, you can make um, you can make it a you can make blood rain. <laughs> so you can put blood all over the field, which um, it helps in certain ways, and in, in um, like both for your character, like like uh, since I have a um, a necromancer, um, well, I have a undead knight. Um, it'll help me with uh, my heals and whatnot, and also I can summon the uh, imp from the red prince and the blood, and it'll be a a blood imp, which is like the physically strongest version of the the, the imp. Um, but you can also create, you know, do like a, a summoning book, combine it with, um, a different element, and that way you can, um, just upgrade and infuse your, um, your summoned imp with that ability. They say if, like, there's no fire around and you don't have the fire ability, you can give it the fire ability, or even the, um, the upgraded source fire ability, um, later on down the road. That's one one thing I love about this game is that the uh, customization is huge, absolutely huge, and um, it gives you so much uh, freedom to switch everything up. That's uh, also another good perk about this game is that um, the uh, freedom of choice. You don't have to be just a mage. You don't have to be just an archer. You can you can be everything if you want. You can. You can be a jack of all trades. Okay, so I'm going after these uh, giant alligators up here because one of them has uh, these gloves that allow you to uh, teleport um, things, objects, or enemies, or even your friend. So if you're not in a fight, I can teleport one character and get them across like a giant chasm in the ground. Or I could put him up in, or as far as wherever the, uh, the extent of the uh, teleport can go. Uh, unfortunately, the stronger you are, the farther you make it go, uh, it'll do more damage to whatever you <laughs> teleport. <laughs> okay, so you normally you have to play the children to find that, but because I have uh, a good amount of wits. For my um my undead character is uh, 16. Um, I can pretty much spot um, hidden objects and whatnot fairly easy. And um, in this first chapter of the game, I don't believe that you're, there's anything that um you won't notice beyond 16 wits. If there's a type of gear um that belonged to the uh, this one guy that like practice Rex that um just you know he was a terrible person and he was um you can get his uh armor armor set here um early on in the game in this, in this um area but um each piece is cursed so you have to put them on all at once you can't just put on the the, the pants you have to also have the, the boots the gloves the armor and the helmet and then it will, you know, it will undo the curse. Each specific um, item uh, that you have of his will curse you a different way. <laughs> I 
And also, uh, another thing I've added to the game, um, to my gameplay, is uh, Sorcerer's Sundries, which um, is a shop that sells really expensive things that you can use to upgrade your um, your armor and stuff. So as you level up, the armor um, in the game will, ob will obviously start to be weaker than that enemies that you, ha you can handle. But if you have like a favorite armor or weapon, you can keep it with you, and um, as you level up and you use those items you get for the, the lady from the Stars of Sundries, um, it'll level up to you. So you don't want to grab certain items in this game too early, like there's a guy that was in that cave that has a really good sword, but if you grab it too early, it won't be that strong. So I, the max level in this area you can get is about 8, so it's best to wait until then to take it from him. And um, one of the things I like to do with my characters is that I'll have like a, my lizard talk to someone, like a shopkeep, that has no one around me. And then I'll use my um, my thief to, to sneak around and pickpocket the person. And because the, the thief level is so high, um, you can practically take all of their um, rare items and their money. <laughs> Some people can wipe out their entire inventory and they won't even notice. So, but once you do that, don't get caught. You know, just um, they won't notice because they're they're too busy talking to the other character. But um, don't let another person see you. So I would say after that point, teleport to um, teleport your thief character with the items to somewhere far away, like the beach. <laughs> you first landed. Maybe let's just pick the lock. We could have gone in another way, and honestly, we should have. But. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna have our summon creatures go ahead and handle the people. Let them do all the work. <laughs> so this guy is supposed to be a Gobblekin um, candidate, just like our characters are. Um, but the managers have uh, tortured him beyond um, healing. So I put him out of his misery and. Um, I'm gonna use his body to create um, <laughs> the uh, necro blobs. You see, just like with the blood course running around. But now that there's blood on the ground, I can summon um, the blood. You see, um, like how it's already up to level 10, the, the, the imp is now huge. <laughs> that does a lot more damage. But if I wanted to, I could have used uh, the prince to, to use his fire breath on the ground and then summon an imp in that. And, you know, he would have had a, a fire imp. Okay, so we're just going to have this guy tell us um, how to get out of here without too much... Um, without having to put up with a fight. <laughs> okay, we've got our level up. Okay, and let's pick that lock. We're just gonna run down. So you would have to fight these guys if you didn't have that password from that, that dude. So yeah, we're gonna tell that Madame Zora sent us and after we get out of here, I'm gonna call it a day for the stream. <laughs> And there we are. Our cat's free. And now there'll be a summon ability. He didn't die. And, um... Yeah, that, that'll be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> you guys have a great day.